Films are composed of sequences. Sequences are composed of scenes. And scenes are composed of shots. What's up fam, it's Feudal Warriors. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a camera tool mod in order to create a cinematic style video. Enjoy. First, you'll need camera tools in order to create a cinematic gaming video. You can find this mod in my description box below that'll link you to a cool person Patreon by the name of France Otis. There, you can discover a variety of games with created tools at your disposal for only $5 monthly. However, you get access to all current and new photo mode mods. If a mod doesn't work anymore because a game was updated, it'll either be fixed or pulled from the list. And also, I would love to give a huge shout out to all of my fellow cinematic gaming channels out there who put their blood, sweat, and tears into each project. Voyager's Revenge, Odin's Fall, Nemesis Productions, The Worlds of Gaming, Miss Pap, and Spartacus 441. All right, fam, so once when you have your desired game fired up and the camera tool zip downloaded, as you can see, my game of choice is Dead Space. Um, you can go ahead and start capturing your scenes. So you can either hit the alt tab keys or you can hit your windows key to back yourself out. I'm right here at the desktop, right? And here is my dead space camera tool zip. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. There's gonna be a little pop up here. You just exit out of it. And you want to open the igcsclient.exe application. You open it up and then you should see your tool, right? So once we have your tool pulled up, you wanna make sure that the game process to inject into is whatever game you're playing. So in my case, again, I'm playing Dead Space. Sometimes it'll automatically populate and other times it doesn't. So you just wanna make sure that it is selected. And then at the bottom, it says your game camera tool dot DLL inject next so you inject your tool on the left side here you'll see that it says completed and camera found so that's how you know if it has been activated all right uh, next go over to your key bindings i usually keep you know the enable and disable camera the same the block input to game the same um, so these are the ones that i usually change so you know your decrease um field of view, increase field of view, um, reset the field of view. I normally keep that the same and also as well as the lock and unlock camera movement. Left, right, forward, W, backwards, S, move up, Q, down, E, and then pretty much everything else just remains the same. Again, this is all up under your own, you know, discretion. You can alternate it to your liking. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of my other buddies out there um, who who make cinematic gaming videos like myself, they have like their own little methods and stuff. But just to keep it plain and simple for me, that's just how I've been doing it since I've started my little journey. So next afterwards, you want to go over to configuration configuration. You can um, have range over how fast the camera moves, um, you know, the rotation speed, your field field of view, zoom speed, things of that nature. So moving over here to the camera smoothing options, these I usually put around like 20 about 19 ish close to 20 so these options over here will make sure that your camera movements are much more smoother um, so if you happen to pan from the left pan from the right you do a tilt movement um, of, or a zoom of that nature it'll come to a, a much more smoother stop instead of it being so abrupt let's go ahead and hop in the game So this is where things start to get fun. As you can see, the position of the camera in game 
is directly behind the um, character, the subject. All right. Now, if I activate the camera tool, let's go ahead and do that now. Look on the top left. You'll see it pop up camera enabled, right? So now if I take my controller and walk forward, you see that the camera is no longer detached is it detaches itself. You see that the camera detaches itself from the actual character. See, so I'm like aiming and everything like that. Now look, watch when I press when I disable it. Now we're back behind the character. You see that? Cool, right? <laughs> So it's some really cool stuff. All right. So I'm not really doing anything important. <laughs> All right. So that's so that's that when you when you enable it. The camera is now detached from the subject. This is the beauty of this tool. You can have complete range over the camera and you can take it wherever you want in the world of whatever game you're playing. Now I have the camera on the outside of the subject. I'm aiming, still using the controller. I can do whatever I want because I have full control. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can go backwards, which filmmaking, it's like a pull back. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but a pull out. Now, you know, this can insinuate that we're abandoning our subject or we can do a push in and again this video is is not to be professional I'm not trying to take a, a, a very professional route um, this is really just a little reference for you to to be able to see how this camera tool works and you know if you're interested and you're in um, aspiring gaming cinematic channel and you want to make these the same videos man I, I'm, I'm just here to support to support my people i really want everyone to learn these things i remember when i first started out it was it was difficult for me if there's any tips that you want me to give you know i can create a a, a new video whether if it's like camera movement tips or um you know angles things of that nature i'll be more than happy to do like a little tutorial on that um, but yeah, guys, um, other than that, it's been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can pull a lot from it. But yep, until next time, peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our campaign to become a warrior today. Hit the bell to receive our latest news on our top tier gaming cinematic films. And make sure to leave a like and a comment below because this channel continues to evolve with your support. Much love.